Good morning, everyone. Let us all welcome the lovely presenters from Union Bank. Go ahead, guys. Hi. Uh, umaga kay ganda sa lahat ng ating mga guro. So, uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. I am Roxy Matsuda. I'm, I'm with the Corporate Banking Group in Union Bank. My background, I'm... I'm a CPA. I finished my master's degree in Ateneo Graduate School of Business. Also, I'm a former professor, just like you guys. I was teaching in Asia Pacific College under the accounting faculty. So let us begin. So techniques to engage learners in a virtual setting. Next slide, please. So what are those? Uh, yesterday, many of you were able to enumerate the technolo technology tools you know already. Now, I just want to ask you guys, you can answer in the chat button, how many technology tools do you know already? Or you're comfortable with? I'll give you a minute to answer so I will know how many tools do you know already. Oh, seven. That's a lot already. Eight. Okay, not bad, you know, even, even three tools, it's okay. Okay, with those, yes, uh, five, yeah. So with those, uh, te use the technology, technology to your advantage. This can also be your discussion boards, your breakout rooms, screening sharing tools, and a lot more to have a variety to your lessons and keep students on your toes. Make sure you know how to use these virtual tools and take time to explain to your students. Actually, you still have two weeks no, to practice these tools before the class opening on, on October. Use the technology with intention. Technology can be transformed from a distraction to an effective teaching tool. Think about how you might use them to liven up your lessons. Next slide, please. Okay, next would be integrate face-to-face -face virtual interactions. For students studying in online classrooms, isolation can be a huge factor in making them demotivated. They might think that no one will notice or care if they miss a class, or find it all too tempting not to lag in a classroom if they are feeling tired. Running a course shouldn't feel like running an autopilot. There should be a touch point. Make learning more interactive and collaborative. This can help students better engage with course material rather than memorizing facts. They, they learn by doing. So it's advisable that, you know, uh, things that like you teach, for example, you're teaching social studies or world history, it's better that you have a virtual, a virtual trip no? by using YouTube. So you can, you and your students can uh, go to those uh, places no? and teach. So there's more interactive interaction among you and your students. Next slide, please. Foster a community. Okay. Build a learning community. According to research, students will be five times more engaged and 16 times more likely to finish the lesson or the course. No? So can I ask uh, how many of you 
would know how to develop a community through online courses, maybe you can visit down. There's a lot of it and, you know, simple things like, for example, I could give you an example, make time for Zoom or Google Meet activities. So that's to foster a community. So any one of you can answer in the chat box. Yeah, report among learners, give them activity that suits their needs, yes. Okay, I'll just give you some examples of uh, how can you foster a community. You know, uh, you can include virtual morning meetings regularly. So you can let your students greet one another, uh, talk about how they're doing, you know. So you can have 10 minutes uh, for them to talk during the Zoom or Google Meet. Also, you can create a, um, a Bitmoji classroom maker space. So this one, you can... Uh, allow students to form a group based on their interest. You know? And then you also can acknowledge the change to virtual learning and embrace the opportunity to discuss with students how the class can stay connected. So in that way, you can uh, have some feedback from your students. So implement some fun through photo challenges. You can also ask them, you know, uh, Push your favorite character, have a picture of yourself, show it so that every student can participate. Also, you can also have a plan for Fun Fridays virtually or any activities, game activities that you can uh, have in the virtual uh, online learning. So those are some examples, but there's a lot. I mean, you can be creative in making this uh, community on how you're going to make or develop a community within the virtual platform. Next slide, please. Okay. Create individual learning plans. Some students are motivated and engaged when they know they have some say in what they are doing, especially if you're teaching mid-school or senior high school, no? So uh, give them some choice assignments. If student believes a lesson is too basic, allow them to skip over, skip over it or dive deeper based on their self-assessment or quiz results. Give your students the opportunity to make their voice heard by asking feedback on the learning experience and content. So sa mga sa mga level po ng uh, mid-school and senior high school because they are more mature, no? So give them some, uh, some uh, role, no? On how they're going to learn these subjects. For, for elementary, I think uh, you can still do, you know, the, the usual uh, teacher to student uh, teaching. Kasi medyo pag elementary, medyo mahirap pa silang... Uh, Mag, uh, mag, maging responsible, you know, to do, to study on their own. So next slide, please. Keep the learning module short and simple. Yan. Uh, ito po, uh, kahit po sa mga previews na natinan niyo pong uh, lesson or module, lagi po namin itong sinasabi, no? Uh, timing is crucial in online teaching. You might find yourself the need to break up your online lessons differently than you would face-to-face. -face, no? It is a good idea to break down information into small, easily digestible chunks. In short, steer clear of lengthy explanations and slides with too much text. 
you should be able to provide learners with a comprehensive but concise learning experience. The learning activities you choose for each learning unit should successfully support the learning goals and objectives. So, kuminsan po ang mga estudyante, pag medyo matagal po ang pinipresent natin, medyo nadidistract po sila. At saka, ngayon pong nasa virtual na po tayo, parang ang hirap po tingnan kung sino yung nakikinig at yung hindi nakikinig. Diba? Di po ba? So, ang pinakamaganda niyan, lagi po, lalagyan niyo po ng assessment, no? Every lesson, every time you have this virtual, mas maganda po na meron po tayong assessment afterwards. Kaysa po, ipunin niyo po lahat at mag ibibigay niyo po yung assessment at the end, no? At the end of the course. So, para ito po, na nakikita niyo kung naiintindihan ang lahat ng tinuturo niyo. And next slide, please. Okay, plan for delivery diversity. So, engage learners' brains by using a mix of content delivery methods. So, ano po ba yung mga yun? Pwede po kayo mag-video, no? pwede nyo pong uh, kumuha rin po kayo ng magagandang uh, lessons or something that you can share from YouTube. So, libre lang po yan. Meron din po tayong Khan Academy that you can use. And also, uh, if you haven't tried it yet, you can check. There's a Kids National Ge Geographic. So if you're teaching science, uh, you can get some materials in that uh, website. No? Um, ang ang po niya is National Geographic for Kids or Kids National Geographic. So, uh, or also, you can bring some guest instructors and speakers so they don't get tired of seeing the same face. So it, it is very important to regularly update your course content. So ayan po yung uh, how you will uh, do some delivery diversity. Uh, of, of course, aside from those, yung mga tinuro na po namin sa inyo, yung mga tools, uh, pwede nyo rin pong gamitin yun. Next slide, please. Okay. Be a storyteller. So, uh, can, um, kayo po ba ay uh, nakakapag-turo uh, na para po kayong uh, nagbibigay ng istorya sa inyong estudyante? Uh, pwede ko pong pang malaman, pakisagot lang po sa chat natin kung ilan po sa inyo if you're delivering it as a storyteller. Yes, okay. Galaxy A10. Yeah. Inject life lessons, yes. Your experience, you know. Uh, you, uh, if the lesson you can, you can teach could apply to your normal life, you can say that, no? For, based from your experience. As a grade one, o nga naman. So, Mas madali pong magturo, dahil na po sa mga grade 1 students, no? <laughs> yes, experiences. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, so most of you knows how to be a good storyteller. So, how, paano nga po ba? How to be a good storyteller? So, first of all, you should know your audience, no? Develop a persona of your learner. Know what language feels familiar to them. You can also use a structure, no? Parang yung structure natin, merong beginning story, there's a problem in the, in the middle, then there's a solution and the ending, right? So for example, a hero's journey. So let's say your students are the heroes. And then there's a dragon. So that's a problem, no? It's because you know that dragon can spit fire and kill people, right? And then let your students uh, think of ways how to slay the dragon. So that's the solution. 
And what would be the impact if they will kill the dragon? So that's the end thing. No? So you let the student get involved no? by stopping the story to find out what they would do in the hero's place. So that's how you do it. And also appeal to emotions. You know that being a storyteller, you tap emotions. Intensify the story with visuals instead of text. Visuals can reinforce key concepts, help learners make emotional connections, and keep learners engaged. Make stories relevant to the course, okay? And pay attention to detail. Strong, vivid details make stories come alive for the reader. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, this is very important. Encourage accountability. So set goals and help online students stay on track with their studies and remind them of their progress. One simple way to introduce short-term goals is to make sure each lesson has a clear outline that you share with your students so they know where they are in learning process and the context for any activity they are doing. Think about how to reward students for finishing tasks or working hard during a lesson. You know? This could be, you know, uh, games, the, what games they like, or it could be points, you know? add points for the next, or uh, if they, you know, have a perfect score, sometimes you let them have ex uh, be exempted on the other quizzes or exams. So, um, or other fun learning activities your students would like. Also, you can have an achievement page for, for your uh, virtual classroom. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, gamify with badges and certificates. Okay, this is... Uh, budgets is, would be good for elementary students, but certificates, I would rather suggest you have this for your mid-school and, and senior high school students. So for every lesson, make sure to feature some sort of assessment, whether it be an interactive scenario or a straightforward quiz. Remember that you need to achieve their learning goals. So consider these certificates to your course or subjects for recognizing student accomplishments along the way. Certificates or badges are rewarded on the basis of achieving particular competencies, also in a way of rewarding student performance and encouraging continu continued engagement. Okay? So if you want to learn how to, how to make badges, you can look at it. Uh, put it in the search uh, box and you will be uh, forward to YouTube. No, there are so many ways on how to make budgets. Okay, next, next slide, please. Okay, this one present your best self. Looking neat, organized, and confident will inspire a certain amount of respect from your students. If students can see your face, it's going to be 100 times more motivating for them if you look engaged and interested in what they are saying. Make, or in what you're saying. Make your slides look clean and clear and all videos, videos in good quality. You change the tone of your voice to introduce new activities. You would be surprised how animating your voice can make a difference. Make sure your audio is good quality also, okay? So those are the techniques that you can use for your virtual classroom. Actually, there's a lot of this. You can create, you can be creative on your own. No? You can add, you can uh, enhance, or you can evolve on how you will do things when you, uh, when you teach on a virtual classroom. So this would end my presentation. I think Jokes has prepared a game for you guys.
Hi. Um, yeah, this, uh, this is not an assessment game, uh, but it's, again, a way for you to engage your, your uh, students or the learners. Uh, and now, just to also close our session, the group session, I'd like us to have fun. And using the chat box, similar to, I know you're familiar with this. So we'll, we'll see and hopefully we can give rewards to those who can uh, guess. Remember the four picks, one word? Or I got addicted to this some years back and now we're doing it and hopefully it can help you um, find ways to or explore techniques one technique is actually uh, leveraging on the experiences, the games, or those that you've been addicted to and convert it into a learning activity like this one. Here, let's just, this is a five letter word. Could anybody guess? Uh, after five seconds and you can't guess it, guess it I will show one letter. One two, three, four. Everybody answered, Charlene. Na! Wow! Ang galing! Yay! Ang bilis! Yes! Who, who answered it first? Mga adik sa <laughs> pick, pick one word. Genevieve or was it ah, Maria? Ah, hindi. Wow. I think Brenda. Miss Brenda Peñaranda. Okay, very good, Brenda. Next word. This is more challenging. Seven letters. So after the virus, just, you know, telling the story of our own experiences in the last few months. Can anybody guess? Ang galing ulit! I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Really, I chose those words that got me really uh, challenged. Wow. Ready for the next? So this, this is an experience uh, many of us are having only because we're working from home or doesn't mean that we don't get burnt out. And actually we do because of the stress and the effect of the virus. But there's something that we could do to fight the burnout. And that's how. Next. Hmm. Yay! Yes, Mom Aiza, Mom Jenny, Mom Emmy. Wow. How do you do this? I just click the slides. <laughs> and I think we're on to our uh, second to the last. Four pick, one word. We have to smile, and yes, very good, Ma'am Julian. Malapit na Ma'am Ali. Strength. We have to be. Uh, no, we have to be strong. <laughs> so the answer is strong. And last, what's this? Eight letter word. Hmm. Yay! Somebody got the answer. Everybody's longing for this, for sure. And daming mga canceled flights, and daming mga canceled trips, and hopefully we can have our vacation soon. Hindi lang sa loob ng bahay. All right. Actually, that's uh the end of the game. Thank you very much for those who have participated and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some ideas and got inspired on how we, what are the techniques we could use, what are the tools, uh, what are the theories that we should um, consider when we engage our learners in a virtual setting. Back to you, Ma'am Roxy. Yeah, maybe we could answer some questions. You can shoot in your question in the chat box.
So do you have any questions? Any clarification? So I just want to remind everybody, if you want to watch uh, the video, oh wait, will there be a certificate to be given? Uh, Ma'am, you have to enroll with the heroes2021.org. Uh, you have to be registered there and there are topics there that you need to, to watch and then they will, they will give you a certificate. So that's free lang, free po yon yung pag-enroll nyo po sa Heroes 2021. So if you want to watch the old uh, videos, no, the old lessons, you can go back to, to that one by registering at heroes2021.org. So baka po meron din kayong ma-share kung anong, if you have something in mind, what are other techniques that I was not able to tell you, or meron po kayong, you know, you think that would be best to, best to share, no, to our uh, teachers. You can write it in the chat box. While waiting, Mom Roxy, I'd like to quickly share a technique we use. Uh, uh, if it's a three-day training session, in my case, uh, yeah. they go into teams and they they earn points for every uh, activity they accomplish. And um, there's a promised I merchandise or item, like uh, it, it could be as si as simple as a mug with a nice logo or or a grab vouch food voucher that they will get at the end of the course if the if they reach a certain point or they got the highest number of points uh, as a team or as an individual throughout the class okay so you heard that guys how can we get the attention of the pupils if it is messenger class Oh, Messenger. I think in Messenger, you have already a class there. You can form a class, but I don't know exactly uh, how it works because I never tried it. But you can have a room already in Messenger. So uh, you can try. Remember, uh, uh, you ha you, in a classroom, you can make a subclass, no? a subclassroom. So kaya nga meron tayong breakout room. You can you can uh, you can choose like 10, 10 students in that breakout room and then another breakout room for another 10 students para kung medyo you have different kind of activities no different so they could do it at the same time and you can always check on them exactly ma'am actually in my case uh, when i do the chat the messenger uh, Similar to doing it face to face, ma'am, diba? When you call their attention, then then they knew they they'll know that uh, uh you're focusing on them. So just actually, hi, hi, Roxy. Uh, how are you doing? Can you share with us some ideas on this? And that make makes them up on their toes because you call them by their names via messenger or um. You ask questions randomly, or you can even send a GIF or a, a GIF or icons, the emoticons, direct to address to a specific student. So, next question: What if we did not complete the series? Are we going to receive certificate? Kasi po on call po ang report namin sa school. Well, you can always go back to that Heroes 2021. I don't think there's a... Uh, I think uh, for as long as you are registered, you can, you know, go back and watch it and finish the, the series. For the Ms. Roxy, Ms. Roxy, lay here. Um, yes. Let me just jump in. Um, yeah. Dun po sa certificate and dun sa... I think the question was if they were not able to finish. 
Um, yung asynchronous course po natin sa Heroes 2021, although mahaba po siya if makikita nyo, it's actually just less than a minute long, mga 40 seconds lang, or minsan 5 minutes long lang yung videos. So, if if you'll do it in one sitting, you could actually finish it in two and a half hours. So, if you don't have time yet to sit in a two, two for two and a half hours, pwede niyo po siyang patch, um, gradually you could finish it. Kasi self-paced naman po yung course. And this course will be open until the end of October. So, you have this month and next month to finish the entire course. So, once you've finished the, this asynchronous course, we will be issuing you a certificate. Yep. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Lay. Thanks for the clarification. And then, can we have some games, interactive activities to give our learners to collaborate? Uh, jokes? Do you have uh, some um, interactive activities for this? Actually, if it's just a, a collaboration, it's always... Uh, useful the idea boards mural is paid pero yun sanang very effective uh, idea boards miro uh, if it's a quiz you know you use kahoot and there's also quizzes and socrates uh, but if you're quite quite good at designing using powerpoint uh, the PowerPoint online can also be an effective tool in designing uh, games that uh, will allow collaboration for your students. So suggested activities. Well, actually, uh, for Julie, I think it would depend on what uh, subject you're going to teach. No? Um, so it really depends. So. For example, if you're teaching math, no, medyo challenge sang math pagturo sa virtual. Uh, unlike the other subjects like reading, uh, collaborative, you can just read aloud and then let your students read also and make them as uh, if there are the characters of that uh, book, no. So for math, I um, I'm not so sure of, but you know, you can make games in math. So it would be interactive. So make sure that you have, make sure that you have uh, those activities for math para hindi sila masyado mabor. So what else? Um, values education. Subjected activities for values education. Uh, any one of you guys? Jokes? Karen? Or? Uh, okay. Ma'am, for values education, what we use are um, the simulation or uh, depend. If it's high school, we can now use problem based learning approach, uh, the COI, uh, the community of inquiry, and yung scenario based. Uh, Learning so the problem base is that you you create a um, you create a story uh, that po poses the problem and for your students to uh, think about what will be their uh, how they will handle the that problem or solve that problem. The scenario is uh, similar to problem based, but you're not posing the problem; you're setting the scenario. Um, and some even does uh, yung mga RPG mam ma role playing games. Uh, you can use that for uh, values education. Okay, uh, there's another question here. How how some parents assist to their son daughter if they are elementary graduates or even can't read or write? No? So uh, major challenging yung question is Sir Alex, no? Maybe I think um, if those parents you know, are elementary graduates, maybe uh, it depends no, what, what uh, level are you teaching. Maybe they could join also. Those parents can join to your lesson. So both you're teaching both the student and the parents. So 
that uh, so if they're finished, if your lecture is finished, you know, they, the parent can already help the kid. For Miss April, regarding the messenger class where uh, students cannot read yet, I am not sure if it's possible in in some uh, units or digital like mobile phones or laptops. But you can send in messenger. You can send audio uh, message instead of uh, typing like written message. Hi, Dita Jokes. Um, hi, Miss Roxy. Abby here. Hello. Yeah, I will, would like to just share my experience because, well, I have my, ano, my kinder uh, son. No? So, not just sure if what she meant na ang gagamitin is a, a class in Messenger. So, I assume there's still a video. And I think it worked perfectly. Uh, yung, yung ginagamit ng teacher nila na uh, the class is small, siguro parang around 8 or 10 lang in a class. But the total class population pala is uh, around 20. They cut into half. Mainly because, you know, the pag kids, di ba, parang the attentive attention span is really small and it's really short. So, um, it's a, it, it is a perfectly uh, helping them having a small uh, group to you know to be able for the teacher to to, to really um, talk to each and every student as in meron siya talagang one or two minutes talking to the, the to student to really engage kasi yung mga ganting bata ang hirap talaga nilang engage even myself na I am assisting my kid kahit gusto ko sabihin you listen to your teacher you open the video blah 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 so the teacher has been effective in terms of asking the, the the student to always open the video. At least nandun yung parang authority or the presence that the teacher is there. The teacher is there. There's you know an interaction. You're still part of the class. You will see your your classmates, the photos of your or the the, the videos of your classmates there. So I think it's a no. It a no. It is a small step, I guess. But um, for teachers, really a. Uh, for teachers handling mga, yung mga kids. Well, my, my kid kasi, uh, parang ang age yata less from 4 to 5 years old. Sobrang hirap talaga i-manage pag mga ganun ka sobrang bata. But you know, uh, again, ang, ang tips lang is that small dapat yung group. Tapos, um, uh, kung big yung class nyo, uh, i-segment nyo siya. As in, mga 5 to 7, I guess, uh, in a class or in a, yeah, in a, in a session. Tapos make sure that you give attention talaga to the student. So it's it's not as if you are just talking to them. You have to really engage them by calling their names all the time. At, at yun yung yat, isa sa mga magic trick ni teacher niya eh. Laging kinukol yung names ng mga sadyante. So the, the student gets to be ano, focused na lang do sa videos. And then always turn on the video for that sa yung mga kinder kasi though yung mga gantong bata diba they are so used to watching videos watching YouTube watching everything um for them seeing up seeing people talking online is just natural it's just you know it's part of their development so um yun yun yung part of nang you have you you have to really just engage uh, make time and effort and focus with the, with the student Thank you, Abby. Welcome. So I think uh, also you can research, no? Um, there's a, um, by typing in the search box, no? Uh, on how to, uh, how to engage mga elementary students, grade school students. You can see a lot of it in the search box. No? It could help you. You can, you can search it on. And they will uh, also, if you want some free tools, no, you can also search it in Google in the search box. Just type uh, free tools to, to engage uh, e-learning classes. So they will direct you what are those free tools no, that you can use.
So there's a question here, how do you promote diversity in the virtual online class? So this is yung delivery uh, of uh, maybe I think what you mean, Mr. Benicio, is delivery on how to, uh, to show to your class on what you're going to do. Promote diversity or is it a different one? Because uh, I tackled a while ago is to deliver diversity, meaning to say you can use videos, you can use blogs, you can use uh, Khan Academy, you can use uh, Kids National Geographic for your, uh, for your uh, lessons. So, um, or you can invite speakers, especially for high school students, I think for senior high school, you have some elective uh, classes already, no? Elective classes like for, I think, cooking, accounting, uh, what else? Computer science. So if you know somebody who has that field, no? Who finished that field, you can invite them and you can uh, have them uh, some uh, talk to your class in your virtual class. Also, one more thing, um, after, after your lesson, um, maybe it's also nice no? for your next lesson to recap what you have learned, what your student have learned from the previous uh, session. Just only to know if, you know, if they still remember what you taught to them in the virtual. So always have a recap. Miss Roxy, um, well, I saw here kay, uh, um, galing kay Aprilene Aviva kasi I was sharing na uh, to cut your classes no, into small uh, groups and she mentioned that she cannot do it by 10. Siguro she was uh, pertaining to large classes, yung mga big class ano, eh, no, level. Well, I think um, if you have an assistant teacher with you, no? Maybe you can split that class. Because if uh, I think uh, I really don't know how it goes in in a school, how the teacher uh, for some, because from some private classes they have a assistant teacher, eh? mm -hmm. so they have the advisor, then the teacher, then assistant teacher. So I really don't know if you have like that. You can split the class if it's really very big. Mm -mm. Actually, Mom Roxy, uh, nowadays with the advent of the virtual uh, instructions or virtual learning, it is really uh, a standard to have a teaching assistant. Like in our, you, you've experienced that. If you're the one uh, doing the lecture or the presentation, there should be a virtual facilitator around taking care of the questions, um, trafficking the the raise of hands or some issues and concerns of the virtual participants. So I think that's that's supposed to be a standard now. But in the case of the the uh, public uh, teachers, they might want to leverage on the student assistants in the meantime that there aren't any teacher assistant teachers available. But yes, you are right with teaching assistants. Yeah. Okay, uh, there's a question, oh no, asking for site or apps in making badges. Well, actually po sa Microsoft, uh, if you have, uh, if you have a word, no, there are, parang there are shapes that you can make badges. Through, through the word, no? So, uh, actually, how to make it, you can just type it, go to YouTube, and then just type in the search box there, how to create badges. So, ang gagamitin nyo lang po doon, yung mga shape na nasa Microsoft Word. May mga shape ng star, 
my sh my rectangle shape and then you just you know you just create be creative on how you want do you want that badge look like no kung kung uso ay sa mga bata mga anime then you can make uh, in that badge an anime picture and then you can say excellent you're excellent or you're awesome no you're the best so something like that Okay, so the teachers cannot afford to have the teacher assistant. What could be the best solution for this? Well, I think uh, when if it's really too big, I really um, I think in Google, if, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, jokes and Abby and Karen. I think in Google there's a classroom that they could create, right? Like a sub classroom. Am I correct? Yeah, there is, Miss Foxy. However, kasi when you use a Google Classroom, it needs to be to have a subscription. In uh, fact, yung yung kung yung nung anak ko, um, they have been using Google Classroom so through Google Meet. So sa Google Meet nila ginagamit yung yung actual classroom. However, it needs that the school must be subscribed to a Google account. So you cannot just create your own Google Classroom with a free Gmail account. Yun lang yung challenge nun. So it entails uh, budget. Um, ang siguro ang ano dito nila is um, given the, the public school um, scenario right now wherein um, there's not, I guess, no, not much budget to be given to all of this um, uh, alternative um, ano to, um, online solutions. It, it takes for a teacher talaga to be creative in, ano, in really doing such. Um, if uh, if the, they mentioned naman po no, na they cannot afford the, the teacher assistant and, and that's true. Totoo naman talaga na they cannot. Uh, for big classes, not sure. It, does it, ano po, Go on, no? parang in an average, was it around 60 yata or 70 students per class yata sila that they managed? It's too big, and um, uh, it is actually to his advantage of uh, having that one. Kasi parang what will happen is that you are just like, um, you know, talking to a screen, uh, with a lot of uh, photos there without really, um, Ensuring whether they're really getting, uh, you know, you're, you're or getting your message across to them. So if if the teacher assistant is not um, is not a reality or cannot be fulfilled, I guess um, I think na mention you na know, you're recording your own class or subject. So and then playing that during the class itself, uh, so that when you become online, uh, it will not eat up a lot of your energy. <laughs> so, kasi may, mahirap talaga, I, 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 I believe, no? Mahirap. Kasi yung, yung, yung anak ko nga, na, yung teacher that was only managing um, less than 10 students, I can feel the, alam mo yun, <laughs> yung hirap nung pagmamanage ng class because she needs to be always up and uh, energetic for her to attract and engage the, the students. Nakita ko yung isa sa chat eh, parang sabi ni Miss Julie, laban lang. Yes, laban talaga. At this very moment, laban talaga tayo. Also, ano, I could suggest, you know, uh, make it, ano, uh, make a schedule. I think the best is to make a schedule. So, 30 or 20 students make a time. Like, for example, 8.30 to, to 9 o'clock. Uh, this scheduled group of students will listen to you, no? And then nine, another schedule for those. And then you just give activity. Even if they're not online, they have to do some uh, uh, sit work, no? Give them some sit work. And then this next schedule with your students, especially if you have 75 to 80 ang nakalagay dito ang klase. So just make a schedule. So 30 minutes for the first batch, another 30 minutes for the second batch, and then uh, another 30 minutes for the third batch. Anyway, you're going, you have to record all your lessons. You have to record it so that 
uh, your students can go back and listen to that recorded lesson. So there's, there's a question here about uh, what uh, move up already. Uh, teacher, assistant, may I ask, ano po kayang apps ang pwede ma-explore in a form of fun games to address ang mga least mastered competencies, halimbawa po sa science. Okay? Uh, actually, uh, yung nakita niyo pong ginawa naming mga games, pwede po kayong mag-create po doon, no? And, uh, uh, like for example, Kahoot, no? You can make questions there regarding science and let them answer it. Pwede po kayong gumawa doon. From Julie, may hashtag po pinagawa kami Ni Ma'am Clary, go first session. Yes, you can do hashtag, right? You can do hashtag. So it's up to you guys. What would be your hashtag in your lesson? Yes, uh, so Miss Jenny said, okay po yung schedule ng class, which I think that would solve, no? If, it's, if your class is really big. So don't uh, uh, don't let them uh, attend at one time, no? So by batch pong gawin natin. How about math in junior high? Yeah, uh, yeah. As I've said uh, earlier, math is really a challenge to teach, no? Because right now, uh, I experienced that because I was teaching before accounting. So just imagine how you're going to teach accounting on a virtual uh, classroom. So it's better to have, uh, better have a games, no, for math. And then you have your uh, board to teach, or you, you can also get some uh, ideas in Khan Academy, because in Khan Academy, you just share it, uh, all the math, uh, subjects are there no it, not only math there's also some physics chemistry and it's free Khan academy is free ready po bang mag layout ng mga tanong or activities sa kahoot yes i think you can So I just want to share lang what, um, this is uh, the National Geographic Kids. Uh, you might be interested in checking on this site. Uh, so were you able to see the National Geographic? So here you can see, no, you can you can uh, watch videos, amazing animals. So you can also, if you're teaching about birds, amphibians, reptiles, no, you can also do some explore. explore. So there's also games here. So there are some quizzes. So you, you can just choose, no, any. So here, so which of these cats does not have spots? Lions, jaguars, cheetahs, jopards. So maybe you can explore this, uh, this site, no, nationalgeographic.com.
Hi, Miss Roxy. Lay here. Ole. <laughs> Can I just jump in po? And, sure. and uh, share something to our participants. Let me just share this. Yeah. So just to give you, um, just to give everyone the news, last September 16, po, we launched the Heroes 2021 in Pasig City. So uh, the course was open to all public and private school teachers. Before po kasi, ang trust po ng Heroes 2021 is just for the public school teachers. But now we have opened the, uh, this, uh, this program, this project, to everyone, para mas inclusive po siya. And we, we are very proud to announce that we have the support of uh, Mayor Vico Soto last uh, September 16. So he was one of our guest speakers. And also, um, si Vice President Lani Robredo was also there during the program. So, baka po kasi nagtataka, I just want to clarify, nag, baka po nagtataka sila kasi I see some participants also from Pasig here in the Union Bank and City Savings Bank course. So, actually, i ano ka lang po, differentiate ko lang. Um, dun po sa Union Bank and City Savings Bank and yun sa Pasig course po natin, actually, same lang po sila. Um, same lang po dun sa asynchronous course. So, kung ano po yung tinitake ni uh, Union Bank, the, si, kung ano po yung tinitake ni Pasig Group, it's just the same po dun sa tinitake ni uh, tinitake niya po dun sa Union Bank and City Savings. Pareho lang po sila ng asynchronous courses. Ang pinagkaiba lang po are the webinars. Kasi po dito, yung sa Union Bank and City Savings, we started since August 26, if you remember, that's our first webinar. And then parang pang fourth week na po natin yata ito. So, marami na po kayong na, na, ano, na invest na time on the webinars here. So, sa Pasig po, tatlong webinars lang po yung gagawin namin. And we will be focusing on tools and applications. So, baka po kasi mag, ano, may, may colleague kayo from Pasig that, that could say um, that you would compare what you're taking. Same lang po sila dun sa website. Ang pinagkaiba lang is the webinars. Yan po. So just to clarify, and also on next week naman, we will be launching in Region 5, in the Bicol region. So I think um, our participants are from different parts of the country, no? So from Palawan, parang may buhol pa yata kung nakita. Um, so if interested po yung mga colleagues niyo or your provinces to enroll in Heroes, encourage them to Ano po, to participate in the Union Bank and City Savings, City Savings Bank course. So that's the, that's just the difference. Kasi ito po, the difference. Kasi ito pong course na to, which is sponsored by Union Bank and City Savings Bank, is offered nationwide. Tapos po yung nilaunch namin with Mayor Vico is for Pasig City. And then yung next week naman po, we will launch it for the Vico region. So, regional po ang approach namin yan. Kasi if we do it nationwide, hindi kami makakuha ng support. <laughs> so, we target, we do it gradually. But if you're interested to, um, let's say, if your region or your provinces are interested to participate in heroes, um, from bottom up po naman ang gawin natin. From, from us, coming from the teachers, sabihin po natin sa principals natin or sa super, superintendent natin that we're that this hero's course is beneficial and we should um, campaign it for the rest of the teachers in our provinces. Yun po, Ms. Roxy. That's all that I want to share. Thank you. Thanks, Leigh. Mm -hmm. So, narinig niyo po yun. So, kung kayo po ay gusto niyo sa kung saan region po kayo, uh, just uh, let your principal talk to our ano, organizer, Miss Lay. <laughs> Actually, ma'am, ano po, ang ginagawa namin, si Sir Joel, the president of TEMS, ang kausap niya pang uh, uh, regional directors po. Ah. So, yun po yung, so from there, sila muna mag-uusap, are you interested in here, in this program, this is free, 
And then from there, sila po yung magka-cascade sa mga superintendents to the teachers. So, yung po. Kaya lang medyo, na po, ano po si Sir Joel, ang dami rin niyang kausap. So, hindi, kumbaga, hindi niya ma, um, hindi niya mapagsabay-sabay lahat ng video. So, from us, um, that's why I'm encouraging our teachers that um, if you think this project is beneficial, let's encourage our co-teachers, our teacher friends from private school to enroll. So, yung City Savings Bank course and yung Union Bank and City Savings Bank course is open for everybody, for private man po yan or public school teachers. Okay, thanks, Leigh. Thank you, ma'am. So there's there's uh, another question here. Uh, paano po kami makaka-access uli? Uh, you have to uh, register in heroes2021.org to access the previous uh, videos. That's for Huawei, Nova 3i. Okay. Uh, are there any more questions? Let me share the next topic, Ms. Roxy, so you can invite them. Okay. Yeah, I'm inviting you guys again for September 23 for Measuring Formative Assessment. This is important po. Ito po yung sinasabi ko po sa inyo na for every lesson, you should have an assessment. So kindly attend this on September 23. Okay, I guess there's no more questions. So, Leigh, thank you very much. And thank you for all our teachers. Thank you, Ms. Roxy. Thank you, everyone. And thank you to my group mates, Joe, Karen, and Abby. Thank you very much, Mom Rox. Congratulations for our job well done uh, during this learning session. Thank you, Ms. Abs and Ms. Ka and Ms. Leigh. Till the next time. <laughs> Till next time, ma'am. Um, Kaya yeah. sasawa sa amin. <laughs> Happy Saturday, everyone. Happy weekend, guys. <laughs>